Hello, it's Magnus Headley from Trimble. It's a pleasure for me again to, to talk with you and discuss a very, very important topic for our industry, which is CO2. So in the next few moments, I'll share with you the new CO2 calculator we have in, in Quantum, in the new version 8.3.0.9, and how you can start using it right away. So just going through the industry challenges, um, the civil transport and construction sector accounts for about a third of the greenhouse gas emissions in Europe and in the world. And as you know, during the United Nations Climate Conference in Paris some years ago, the world, world countries agreed to limit the climate impact to maximum temperature rise of two degrees Celsius. So we have now amazing technology and so much knowledge. So there's a lot that can be done as long as the right effort are placed in the right direction. So going straight forward into quantum, uh, I'll describe the concept, which is the new calculator. And it's very important for you that you can before you go into your detailed design, before designing the, all the details of the project, that you have evaluated all possible solutions. And with the new CO2 calculator, uh, you're also able to calculate, forecast, and show the emissions from your project. And can be, do be done in two ways, basically. First of all, we have this element comparison, as usual, but we are now able to show the, the CO2 from construction, the construction itself, but also from a future perspective of, of the impact, impact of the cars driving and using the road. So what do we get? What is the results we'll get out of the new quantum version? First of all, we have, as I said, the same comparison. We can compare all the different route alternatives. You can sort them by length, by cost savings, and now also from the CO2 from construction and also from the future traffic. And we now get uh, even more detailed information about each and every alternative that Quantum calculates. And to the right here, we can see the CO2 from the different items. And we also get the percentage uh, so we can see where it's, it's coming a lot CO2 and if it's possible to reduce it. And of course, during your optimization in Quantum, Quantum will try to also reduce the CO2 emissions and here is also the future CO2 traffic impact where you can add the traffic compositions you can add the traffic flow the speed limit the daily traffic and it will get out the CO2 emissions uh, daily or annual which means every year and in the, the vehicle parameters you can um, you can play with the parameters for, for slopes and for for acceleration and such kinds of things for, for, for cars, trucks and different vehicles. Now we'll drop right into quantum um, just to show you how you do it. First of all, I have searched for six different alignments. I will open my alignment uh, comparison just to, to show you those uh, it's four actually show you those four alignments and we can sort them after savings or also after which it has the lowest CO2 from construction or from traffic then we have the alignment summary where we can see the CO2 also from from all the different options 
And if I right click on alignment and click on the CO2 report, I'm also able to, to get my daily or annual uh, CO2 emissions from, from the use of the construction. So um, we hope you will like the new uh, version, the new functions. We hope it will give you a lot more value to your planning to uh, evaluate all the different options, not only due to the parameters you have done before and the costs, but, but also from a, a mission, uh, an environmental perspective. So go ahead, start using it. Uh, feel free to drop me or my colleagues uh, emails. Don't hesitate to, to contact us or, or um, leave a message to, to this email address. Thank you so much for listening and have a great day.